morning guys it's 4am in the morning and we're just getting ready to leave for Gatwick we're flying with EasyJet today and our flight departs at 6am <music> We just went through security and getting some food. Uh, probably gonna board in about an hour. from what I expected it's much bigger but they have not given us a room yet but we've gone and changed and now we're going to have lunch and then we have a tour at 2 p.m. This way, then we get a paste. The paste, okay. we just have to mix with a warm water and we crush it by the hands or to squeeze it after we fit for it more than two times to get just a clear and pure argan oil. Excellent for your hair and your body. Before the Berber language was not written, it was only spoken. Mm. Now this is a Berber language and this is Arabic. Because it's very beautiful, the eyes as you'll see, it's all embroidered on the top with a very fine cedar wood needle. They use it either as a carpet on the floor and at the same time as a bag. So when they want to move, they just fold it like this. They tie all these tassels here together. They put all inside what they need on the way on the camel caravan. And he knows, he knows the whole family by the quality of the bread and by the, the they mark them. which is the market here in Marrakech and it was pretty crazy um, so we went with our guide and he took us around um, but there's motorcycles everywhere and 
there is so many shops selling so much cool stuff like wooden handmade things and, and lamps and pretty much everything and anything you can think of. Um, it's a pretty crazy place. We bought quite a lot of things and we went to this place that sold a lot of natural oils um, for all sorts of remedies for pretty much anything, headaches, you know, for colds, anything you can think of. And we bought a lot of things there. It was almost like a presentation when we went in. Um, also the carpet shop, they, was like, they were presenting to us and expecting us to buy something. Um, but it was a very cool experience. I literally felt like I'm walking through some kind of immersive experience. It's like nothing I've ever seen before. We finally got to check into our room. It is a deluxe suite and it's absolutely incredible it's so beautiful it leads straight out to the rose garden so i'm gonna give you guys a tour so this is the room that we've got it's the deluxe suite this is the amazing bathroom look how beautiful it is i love the design and then we've got the bedroom so nice and it leads to this incredible terrace which I'm obsessed with look at that how insane palm trees and it leads straight out into the rose garden for dinner now to a place called La Sultana which is meant to be Moroccan fusion cuisine so I'm excited to try that getting ready and today we're going back with our guide to Le Jardin Majorel and the YSL Museum just seeing the cultural historical things today <music> delicious there by the croissant everything the local yogurt is so good as well so now we're going um, on our tour we will see the museums the YSL museum and Jardin Majorelle Jardin Majorel, which is the house that belonged to a painter, and then he sold the house to Yves Saint Laurent, and now it's a museum and open to the public to see. And it's made with this blue stone, which the painter found when he went to Sahara Desert, and it's so incredibly beautiful. visiting the villa where Yves Saint Laurent used to live and it's just next door to Le Jardin Majorel.
It's open all day. <laughs> that was built in 1885 by a Moroccan prime minister slash king for um, a civilian woman that he was in love with. delicious food. Um, I definitely, definitely recommend that place um, if you are in the area. But now we come back to the souk um, to see the other part which we haven't seen yet with our guide. Seashells, what's the color? It's from the beach. It's a purple. Mm. Oh, wow. Cobalt, what's the color? Blue. Cobalt blue. Blue, blue. Blue, blue. Is it blue? Marjorie. We know Marjorie. Marjorie blue. blue. definitely an art and we've been trying to perfect it, trying to buy things for the best possible price. We were about to ride back to a hotel in a horse carriage. called Alfasia which is a restaurant owned by women and it's traditional Moroccan cuisine so I'm super excited to try it. just woke up it's about 8 a.m we're gonna go have breakfast and today we're going to visit Palais El Badi and the tombs <laughs>
we're now in the Sadian tombs where the sultans are buried and it's so, so busy, full of people. So I'm queuing to go inside to see the tombs and I think the space is quite small so there's quite a lot of people trying to go in and I think that's why there's a queue but I'm not really sure what's inside it must be some kind of important sultans being buried inside So I've just come back to the hotel after visiting the tombs um, so the queue was not worth it in the end at all because it was just to go inside the building and take a picture of some of the tombs inside um, I don't think I if I knew that I probably wouldn't have queued for 20 minutes in the heat we didn't go with the guide today we just went ourselves and i think if you want to go to the tombs i definitely recommend going with the guide because he can explain things to you and talk to you about um you know the history behind it and what it all means and because we went without a guide we didn't have that and it was not very interesting to be honest it is quite hot it is about 30 degrees today so um, we've just come back to the hotel and we're going to go for a quick quick dip now and go to lunch at the Royal Mansour, which I'm so excited for. We're going to the French restaurant there. around and explored the Royal Mansour which is another super luxury hotel it's even more luxury than Lama Munia which is where we're staying and it's about $1,000 a night I think more um, it's easily one of the most beautiful hotels I've ever been to so so beautiful restaurant in our hotel Mamamunia. So excited. Tomorrow we are going with the guide again um, and we'll be going to the Atlas Mountains um, to a town called Ilmil which is meant to be quite cute and picturesque with amazing views and the guide is going to take us to his home um, for lunch which sounds amazing really looking forward to it it will be a busy day we're starting at 9 a.m and aiming to come back around 3 34. 
So this guide tomorrow was also arranged for us by the hotel. So I'm not sure the name of the company, but I will recommend you guys the guide if we do like him. Argan oil. Okay. I will make it just by hand, no machine. And here the process is to make it by hand. Put the paste, you can mix it by hand. Each one minutes you add warm water. We work the paste until it separates and that's the leftover. Okay? That's the left. So, look at it's shiny now. Yeah. And I have this smell. Don't come back again to this to this village. Mm -hmm. And the mosque plays many different roles. So the first role is a place where the locals perform in their own five daily prayers. And then we're going to have lunch there, enjoy the view, and come back down. Some, uh, for giving a special special flavor for our team, we use some plants like uh, this is aquatic mint. Mm. Okay. We call it aquatic mint because always we find it on the river banks. Like to be the half of the glass, like you are most welcome. Why you put how you are most important, and uh, it gives for you space <coughs> for where you're gonna put your fingers. Okay, because one of the conditions of the of the Moroccan team to drink it comfortable. On the way back from Atlas Mountains, we decided to stop at uh, this hotel owned by Richard Branson and it's so incredible and overlooks the mountains and it's just in the Atlas Mountains and um, now the men have gone home and me and mom are just exploring the gardens in our hotel. Hey 
guys, so tonight we had dinner in the Italian restaurant. It was okay, it wasn't the best food we had here, but it was still good um, and really nice. We tried some of their locally made olive oil, which was delicious. So tomorrow we're, we're checking out around 12 and in the evening we're going to the luxury desert camp to stay there for a night. It's called Inara Desert Camp and I'm really really excited for that. Mm -hmm.